All right, now we've entered the composite shop. We're actually standing in front of this big orclave, and I found one of our ATAs from the Navy. Um, Sam, you know how you going, buddy? Good chat yourself. Oh, not too bad. Nice sunny day in Melbourne, as always. As always, absolutely. <laughs> So, um, actually, you're actually come from the Navy and working here on a, a basically a 12-month visa, I would call it, basically just to stay over to, to learn what we do and take your experience back to the Navy. Um, first of all, welcome, and, and how are you finding that? Uh, loving it, eh? it's fantastic. It's, it's different to, say, working in the Navy over the day. It's a similar routine. Obviously, my job mainly is making rear bars, the backside of the car. Uh, with the Navy, I suppose, they want us to come through and, obviously, like you said before, bestow the knowledge that you guys have taught us and take it back to the Navy and teach again and just go straight to the aircraft we're working on and lay up basically. Yeah, for sure actually, we're probably learning a lot off you as well from, from your job, but um, you know, tell us a bit about what you do here. You're in the composite department, like you said, you're, you're basically um, making a whole rear of the car. Um, just give us a bit of a process of what you go through and, and what you do generally here on a day. Right, so initially you make the uh, rear bars out of say Twintex, it's a fiberglass plastic design. Uh, so basically what we do is we get a pattern of the design of the actual bumper itself, you cut out so many layers of fiberglass, so many layers of Kevlar, get your mould, lay it up with resin, and then you start laying out basically like a big pizza or a big sandwich, lay out one piece after the other, obviously your fiberglass. Once that's done, you take it to the, the uh, cleansing room or the uh, bagging room, you throw it in a big, a big plastic bag, wrap it up, make it nice and sealed, nice and vacuumy, stick your valve in there, suck all the air out, make sure the bag goes in the corners like it's a big ass singer again. And then you throw it in the oven, so at a certain time, say I think fiberglass is an hour at 60 degrees, whereas twin text is 180 degrees in an hour. So obviously a denser material, longer to cook. And once that's done, bring it out of the oil in the oven, debag it, make sure there's pretty no damage to it, cut it into shape, get ready for Vince the painter, hand it to him, and then we start all over again. That is one awesome description of what we do down here at Commerce Shop. I reckon that's almost a gold medal medal for this series. Uh, congratulations and uh, have the day off. Good job. Good job. <laughs>